Imagine a world where animals start speaking like humans. Sounds like something out of science fiction, right? Well, what if I told you that scientists have actually taken the first step in that direction? A team of researchers modified the DNA of mice by inserting a crucial human gene linked to speech and language. The result? These tiny creatures started vocalizing in a completely different way. This gene, called FOXP2, is often referred to as the language gene. It plays a vital role in the development of speech and communication in humans. But what happens when you introduce it into another species? That's exactly what scientists wanted to find out. By adding the human version of FOXP2 to mice, researchers observed fascinating changes, not just in their brain structure but also in their voices. Normal mice communicate using high-pitched ultrasonic squeaks, which are beyond the range of human hearing. But after receiving the human FOXP2 gene, these genetically modified mice started producing sounds with altered pitch and patterns. Essentially, their voices changed, though they didn't suddenly start speaking English. Interestingly, the changes weren't just in their voices. Scientists noticed differences in how these mice processed learning and movement, functions closely linked to speech in humans. This suggests that Fox P2 isn't just about talking, it's part of a much bigger picture involving brain function and motor skills, both of which are essential for human speech. Now before you start imagining an army of talking mice, let's be clear. This experiment didn't make them capable of human speech, but it does bring us one step closer to understanding how language evolved in humans. Fox P2 has long been considered a key factor in what made human speech possible. Experiments like this help us unravel the genetic mysteries of how we develop this unique ability. Of course, this raises big ethical questions. Should we be modifying animals in this way? What happens if we go further? Could this research one day lead to animals communicating with us in a more advanced way? For now, this experiment is just a small but significant step toward understanding the evolution of language. But who knows? In the future, we might just have some very chatty pets. What do you think? Should scientists keep experimenting with the genes that make us human? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing science content. Stay curious!